Welcome back to Turner Tools, EdTech tips and tricks to help you work smarter, not harder. All right, so now we're gonna look at some examples. So the first example that I'm gonna show you is from a psychology class in high school. And really the project was to create picture books that have really tough emotions and then how those emotions are dealt with by the students. And so this is an example that a student created called Bartholomew the Bear. And so he, everything that you see the student created from the text, from the um, images that they found and added to Book Creator. So really um, great creativity we have here. Um, and just in a different way, you know, um, than maybe just uh, in other projects. And so Gail the Greedy Grape was an, also an example from that psych class. And Billy the Bull in the Broken Vase was as well. Now we get into another project that I did, which was a monster research project, which could be viewed as kind of a bird project. But what we did with it, with it was that we had each student choose a monster that they researched to find out all about it, to prove to the other students that their monster was indeed the scariest monster of all. So that's what we did um, with that one. And so in this case, um, Carter chose some real um, images that he they all ended up sourcing at the end of um, the book. So we talked about being a good digital citizen and looking for images that were open source, as well as um, our uh, information that we found. Um, we also sourced that as well. So um, we talked about how you put books together and making sure that text is large enough so that it is visible. So um, that is the bewildering Kraken. Another um, project that we did was in doing reading A Long Walk to Water, which a lot of um, schools do read that book. And so we took that idea of the lessons that can be learned through that journey in A Long Walk to Water, and then we had the students create their own stories that have a lesson um, involved. And so this was an example of one of those um, books. And so we actually ended up creating the images right um, in Google Slides and saving them as JPEGs. So that was another option that gave us a little bit more flexibility than we had in Book Creator, but uh, pretty much you can do everything in Book Creator now, but this was um, created uh, when um, Book Creator was in its infancy. So um, we just, you know, took the, that image and kind of modified it a little bit. So that was that project. So the Yeti is another example of the monster project. Um, another project that we did was fracturing fairy tales. And so what was unique about this project is not only did we have the students read the fairy tale, then fracture it in some way, but we also had them add the audio to the book. And so that was really fun for the students because they, of course, in middle school are not tremendously a fan of seeing themselves on camera. Audio is not quite so bad, so I usually can convince them to do that part of it. And so we have our image, of course, we have our text, which is nicely um, large for a picture book. And then we also have the audio of the student reading each page. So that was really um, cool, and that's all right within Book Creator. So we didn't have to go to another program to record it, it's right in Book Creator. And so that was that project. In addition, and so that's another um, book from the site class. And then that one was um, a fairy tale, a fractured fairy tale, of course. Another um, one from the site class. And um, this last one is an ebook that I created for um, game design. And so I actually created the textbook for the class. And so it has links in the beginning of the book um, going to each chapter. And then it actually, I was able to take the content that I wanted from different places and house it in one location. Another thing that I really liked about this was that I could not only embed videos, but I also could embed things like Google Forms. And so the student can actually click right on that and it'll go to the Google Form. So um, there's also, you can also embed a lot of things right within here. And so they can act, they don't have to go someplace else to complete the assignment. 
So I really liked that about this um, product. And everything that you've seen so far, I did for free. I did in the free version. Okay. So I had, I have not paid for this product at all. So lots and lots of options. So then another thing that we can actually do is we can use it for um, professional um, examples. And so this was one during the pandemic that um, a librarian, Christina Holtzweiss, actually asked for people to write different um, chapters in this Digital Librarian Survival Toolkit. So it's crowdsourced by 34 librarians. And so as we open the book, we see a list, an index. Okay, so I can go to one of the items that I did, and I'm just going to move myself a little bit. I did the HyperDocs one. So I'm going to go to the HyperDocs, and so it's going to go directly to that page. And so now you can see that I have talked about HyperDocs, how you can do it, um, some of the different sources that you can use. And I have put links in, I've put videos in, I have put different um, sources of information. And then also each page has a click to return to the index. And so then, um, so that makes the book really um, easy to use and find the information that you're looking for. So that is a professional development um, thing that we can do with um, Book Creator that really, um, I think leverages this um, product even more than you might think. So go to the um, Google Classroom and answer the question. All right, until the next video when we get we get down and we start creating some ebooks. Thank you for tuning in to Turner Tools. Remember to like and subscribe. I hope you learned something new to help you make awesome happen. Have a fabulous day.